Using a thin 11 16 inch wrench to hold the heatsink nut in place, unscrew the hose from the adjust tube. Unscrew the top cover assembly from the case with the assistance of a jar lid remover to provide additional friction on the smooth cover. Use a blunt brass spade to lift and remove the diaphragm washer. Then use the tip of the spade to loosen the rim of the diaphragm before removing it from the case. First, unscrew the adjust knob fully to trap the pin in preparation for a later step. Loosen but do not remove the heat sink nut. Instead, give the adjust tube assembly a sharp tap to break it free from the case. Keeping the heat sink nut in place during this maneuver prevents damage to the tips of the lever which might otherwise strike the case rim. Fully remove the heat sink nut, depress the lever, and grasping the deflector knob, slide the adjust tube assembly out of the case. Take a moment to inspect the exhaust valve from the inside. Use a blunt pick to confirm that the edges of the valve are not stuck to the case or damaged in any way. Slide the deflector knob in, rotate it 180 degrees, and pass it over the lever. Remove its o-ring. And if the o-ring has not already fallen free, remove the o-ring from the recess in the hose side of the case. Rotate the adjust knob one quarter turn clockwise, which will untrap the pin. Turn the adjust tube on its side and the pin should fall free or can be pushed out with a thin hex key. Unscrew the adjust knob fully and carefully rock it out to slide it by the sharp threads on the inside of the adjust tube. Remove the adjust tube o-ring. Before setting it aside, compare it with the o-ring removed from the case. The case o-ring is of a similar size but is thicker. Using a blunt curved pick as a lever, pry up the adjust knob core and remove it. Remove its o-rings with a thin pick. Remove the adjust knob o-ring. In order to remove the piston assembly, lift the lever past vertical and displace it to the top of the square brooch in the adjust tube. Using a thin dowel from the threaded end, attempt to push the piston assembly from the adjust tube. If you meet resistance, consider the following alternative to removing the lever. Thread the zip tie from the service kit up between the adjust tube and the lever. Form a bow and thread it back down the other side of the adjust tube inside the lever. Hold the lever flat and slide the zip tie against the lever feet. The lever legs will now be seen to be spread approximately one millimeter on either side. Simply tilt the adjust tube and the piston assembly will slide out or can be gently pushed out with a thin dowel. If the piston assembly does not fall free, the lever must be removed following the instructions in the manual. Remove the balance cylinder and main spring. Remove the two small O-rings with a thin pick, but do not dig against the piston with the tip of the pick. Using a fingernail, remove the low pressure seat. The orifice can be disengaged from its threads inside the adjust tube by unscrewing at least seven turns. However, because of the friction of its sealing o-ring, it will not fall free. 
using a 1 8 inch wooden dowel inserted from the knob end, gently push the orifice from the adjust tube. If the dowel hits a stop, it is probably caught on one lever foot. In this case, recenter it and try again. Do not use a metal tool to remove the orifice. Remove the O-ring from the orifice with a thin pick and set it aside. Gently rotate the knife edge against a fingernail, feeling for any nicks or irregularities. When you set the orifice aside, protect it from contact with any other metal parts. Using side cutting shears, carefully cut the zip tie holding the mouthpiece and discard it. Remove the mouthpiece and inspect it for cuts or tears. If the second stage failed a sealing check on inhalation, or if damage was noted, it may be necessary to remove the exhaust cover to replace the exhaust valve. First, soak the main housing and exhaust cover in hot water for three minutes to soften it. With the exhaust cover softened by hot water, grasp each wing of the cover through the side hole and peel it from the top corner flange on each side of the case. Then simply slide the exhaust cover down and off. At this point, it is easy to inspect the exhaust valve leaflets or clean any debris from the surface of the case. If necessary, the exhaust valve can be removed for replacement. This completes disassembly of the Gears D6 second stage. Lay out parts in a logical fashion for cleaning and reassembly. Dive Gear Express videos are made available for educational purposes only to provide general understanding of scuba diving related topics and not to provide specific advice. Please read the essential information page at the URL shown.